So, do you know freelancing and freelancers will in fact be the future and the way that I sit on this camera will be our future pertaining to what's to come by the year 2026, 2027? But until we get there, like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as an ID Go app. You might want to get those two things, combine them, make them into one, and I am a Discovery Influencer. That's indeed a fact. So my t-shirt just popped up, right, with the logo and everything. So when it comes to Sarah Burton, what could have been the cause of her disappearance was it drugs who could have had a uh what's the wording for that who could have been a part of that as in her going missing her disappearance right sarah burton she was last seen on july 16 2018 around the location of 10th street and rex avenue that's in joplin missouri on july 10th 2018 her mother reported her missing no one has last seen or heard from her so when i asked about drug the drugs playing a part in her disappearance right uh narcotics in a search warrant there was a narcotic search warrant served at property of burton back in 2019 a search warrant can help to dictate if drugs played a, a part in her disappearance, right? Because Burton herself did, in fact, lead a troubled life, right? That's where it adds up pertaining to law enforcement, sensing and feel, feeling. They just can't pinpoint completely even me in questioning. Because to know that the search warrant was provided is, is to say, yeah over narcotics who did what and why and where is she right why is she not anywhere around in sight who goes missing pertaining to drugs as in was it a, a drug deal drug deal gone wrong did she yeah not pay the drug man right was that the sort of thing or what what relationship what individual i'm saying because see people get involved with people it could be a friend you owe money or something right drugs had to have been a been a part of it but she can't to me be hiding out anywhere no as in somebody more than likely took her that in fact yeah it some of these missing when it comes to missing person stories right it just when they disappear right it has been individuals that have disappeared because they want wanted to spousal abuse is all type of things that happen right but have you ever visually seen people disappear like when you hear a story because some people when they learn or hear things is by how i hear right not how i see but do you ever when you hear a story right do you visually see it a missing persons because even that will help you to decipher right I use that all the time and trying to figure out could that have happened this is how i'm seeing it and i'm visually seeing it i say that almost in every other video that i do right to visually see something is to help it add up right make better sense because it just does right i tried to figure out okay to owe somebody drugs right the visual because even that points to tv to see sarah burton right going missing and say if there was a kidnap pertaining to drugs visually seeing that with your two own eyes with your own eyes without actually seeing it that in fact will help you yes solve the case 
some people yeah they they wouldn't know that sort of thing because to to say okay here is sarah burton and here is a drug dealer or somebody that has something to do with drugs right you're visually seeing the conversation she's having with this person and yet there's no sound as you're visually seeing it right nothing's there you're just seeing it her and commotion or and talking or she could have even had a dispute yelling with the individual that was going to take her or kidnap her if that was the sort of situation that went down you can visually see them going back and forth she's on this side and he's on that side they're going back and forth arguing and then maybe he pulls her or yanks her or says something or or scream yes in her face or something like that right they get to fighting or something and then he drags her or bangs her over the head or something like that knock her out and then kidnap her how far can you think and see pertaining to that because if more people were able to see and think in that way in that manner that i described say even if he banged her upside the head knocked her out right and put her in a vehicle and drove off with her or something to bury her alive or something crazy or something like that right the visual aspect right if more people was able to think in that way more missing persons cases would in fact be solved the analyzing figuring out trying to see the the yes because see that's completely lacking in society it takes a lot of time it in fact does some people enjoy it some people wouldn't right but that would help us solve more cases so we're on investigation discovery.com the id logo stands in the far left corner live now deadly women uh new episodes discovery streaming service discovery plus right the streaming service provides everything i knew about the streaming service months ahead as in very very far and away from you months in ahead and now introducing discovery plus there's a video for that to receive the audio visual preview is to click the play button that's the future as in the streaming services in fact are the future freelancing as yes self-employment freelancing offering your skills uh, where you tie up with a brand and provide your skills and get paid off of that all that is the future once again the way that i look on camera is in fact our future so when people sit fearing well robots are going to replace us right they're going to replace us uh automation and all the rest what are we going to do i said that before in another video you're in fact going to freelance being a freelancer even oprah winfrey had freelancers back at the oprah winfrey show freelancing is not your standard nine to five it it once again is a form of self-employment where i take my skills writing or marketing or whatever else that i have advertising skills and i link up with a business we're now in partnership pertaining to me providing my skills or i uh yes be or i'm a content writer and i say get paid off of that sort of thing right twenty dollars an hour fifty dollars an hour a hundred dollars an hour to write right a hundred dollars an hour is a good thing and writing because that's not a standard nine to five when it comes to content writing no you're writing for somebody somebody's paying for your service right uh yes they're going to pay you based off of your skills that's our future so when the robots get here you will in fact know the freelancing and freelancer is to be coming yes in our future here in society replacing the standard nine to five um the year 2026 2027 in fact is when that's going to take place right and so when it does you want to in fact be responsible as in no as in what's to come how does it affect you pertaining to your job and all the rest once again uh freelancing and freelancers are not a new thing oprah winfrey at the oprah winfrey show had various freelancers there providing their skills and their talents to oprah winfrey 
for the Oprah Winfrey show, right? There's graphic designers who in fact do freelancing, freelancers and all the rest, right? Uh, there's in fact, uh, when it comes to famous people, celebrity, graphic artists that in fact, I just said that, that are freelancers and have been that provide their services to even famous people, celebrities, right? They go under the title of freelance freelancers, right? Yeah, because I'm asked all type of questions or misunderstood and explaining things. And yet I explain things very thoroughly pertaining to what's to even come. Because to know video by 2021, video viewership will be up to 80%. Which why uh, that too is why Discovery is introducing Discovery Plus streaming services. Most people, they don't know the future. They don't pay attention to the future. Most people don't know the future. They don't pay attention to the future. So they judge individuals that stay ahead of time or do things that's very highly futuristic pertaining to that. They do judge and bash people that do stuff ahead of time because I know even Oprah was uh, having freelancers and freelancing that was way ahead of time. That's why some eat. even that was the reason why even Oprah herself was bashed and judged back in the day. She still is today, right? But things change. Nothing stays the same. How would a few how will the future look in the year 2026 2027 because I know the retirement age is going up if you're young you should be questioning that sort of thing as preparing yourself to know how to be self-employed as a freelancing uh freelancer what are you going to do with your skills as in what are your skills that's all selling yourself, knowing how to sell yourself. Influencers know how to sell themselves. We, in fact, do, right? Being an influencer, right? What are you going to do? What are you doing to prepare for that? Because it's on the way. And to know uh, the time goes by very fast is a say. It will be here before you know it, the future. Because if the retirement age start going all the way up and then you're retiring 70-something, mid 70s or something crazy like that you would have said well i wished i prepared for that ahead of time so unlock episodes to receive an audio visual preview is a click the play button i don't fear robots or the future but what i don't like pertaining to because i run various accounts right i have to keep up with all my accounts right I don't like certain things when it pinpoints to automation because sometimes stuff messes up. That's the only thing I don't like. Everything else is good about automation, robotics, and all the rest, right? Recommended for you. Shouts out to Lieutenant Joe Kenda as well as Paula. Because that's a benefit to people. They don't know that because that's something that's not discussed all the time in the news. It's going to be a benefit on your own end to freelance uh be a freelancer in self-employment providing your skills to a business or to other people that's going to in fact be a benefit it should be part of the conversation all the time because a lot of people are leery saying oh well the robots will replace us and all the rest and this and this and that well if you keep up with what's going on as in what's to come by the year even before 2025 because everything speeds up right if you keep up with that sort of thing you have less to worry about because you're doing it before right so to uh to receive a uh, a newsletter from investigation discoveries to type your email address in and click next and i'm in fact sitting on the next button right but yes what i said does make a lot of sense it in fact provides hope when you stay up to date on what is the job market going to be and how does that affect me because jobs are getting rid of people replacing people all the time right i feel more people should go into marketing yes they should because even that is the future right that sort of thing prevents you being leery because to be self-employed and all the rest and knowing how to provide skills content writing and all the rest right the more you know about stuff like that uh, it in fact will have where you're more independent because to to 
to do a job is to say, okay, now I'm dependent on a job. If it's a nine to five, they might in fact get rid of me and all the rest, right? They might do this or they might do that, right? But once you learn independence and knowing self-employment is the less you have to worry about that. Many people, a lot of people fear self-employment. That's why a lot of people don't do it. Well, I don't want to work for myself and I don't want to do this because I'm not used to managing myself. Well, you manage yourself in waking up, right? Going to a job and manage the rest of your life paying bills. So why not manage yourself as in being self-employed? That sort of thing all adds up. Self-employment is no more than managing yourself as a human being. Making the right decision and choices, right? And in fact, yes, it's self-responsibility is all self-employment is. So, dear viewers, let me know what you like about the video. Let me know what you feel happened with Sarah Burton herself. And let me know what you think and feel about freelancing, freelancers and freelancing being our future. Ask Oprah Winfrey. So may you enjoy your day. I will in fact enjoy mine and I'm gone for now. One.